hit the wall. And uh, now looking for a play on Adoran, who is level six, but this is three people, including Palu, who is here in a 3v2. And Peanut's like, man, I don't, I don't know, man. I can't help you here as to knock into the wall and a potential flash, but Doran's just going to hold on to it. First blood given over to Young Jay. Early game and so far so good. Yeah. Also on the opposite side of the map, we did see Viper and Delighting. Palu should be able to hit six. There it is. Yeah, he is going to hit level six, but now he knows he might be in a bit of trouble. The Wombo Combo comes in, and Palu will go down, and it will be a flash out of Viper just to get away as Envy trying to go 1v3 here, but takes some damage from Peanut to push him is back. Way up in this lane, by the way. Yeah, this time he doesn't have Peanut either, so the flash ult comes in. He's just going to flash under turret, but that's a hook, and oh, he dodges the knockup, but it doesn't matter. And by dodge, I mean Paula pulled him out of it, of course, and choose that one again. He wasn't, he wasn't hit by it. Um, True. He, wasn't, he was not stunned he by it. He evaded it. Um, he yeah, has a tail and flash. This is a Skarner, but there's just way too much CC and damage. I mean, even with Peanut at this point in the game, able to burst through Skarner, who doesn't have him again. Yeah, I mean, th like, uh, this is still good for Bro. I mean, Doran doesn't have ult. He doesn't have flash. That's another root coming in, and this time he is not going to evade that knockup, but nope, it's not going to matter. The passive doesn't keep him alive, and once again, Youngjay picks up another kill. Oh, so I mean attacked him, and then I hooked him. Like, he cannot move. Um, and they're just able to utilize it once again. It's now Youngjay is in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have flash, just going to get isolated. Palu just throws in the ult as Kar is trying to ult out to Viper as well, but... I think he's about to be turned onto by the rest of the team here. He's trying to take a Viper, and he will actually. And now Envy may be trying to get something going. Paulo trying to frontline for him. Some low health bars here on the side of Homolite Esports, but Envy all alone, Envy. not sure. I mean, he's really going to try to push this one. The clutch coming in, and he's just going to die. Triple kill over to Zeka by the end of it all. And I respect the hustle from Envy, but it's definitely a huge backfire here Enough. as well. And this bottom lane turret is quite low. Peanut level 11 at this point in time as well. And Palu is two levels behind. He's just going to be isolated, throws the ult in, and he does buy a lot of time for the team. Peanut does get chunked out. The ult sent in, and they take out the Sejuani. It's a trade, and that's a good one for Bro. Envy, you know he wants to pull the trigger once again. He wants to get in there. This time he's not 1v3, he's taking a lot of damage already though, and Hamalei Peace Sports are backing up, they are respecting this, but can they get away is really the question. The knockup comes in and the CC chain is there once again for Bro. It's just so simple. Nice try, N nice effort. Yeah, I mean, it good was work. very proactive as far as. Yeah, I mean, his Yoni's been pretty good so far. The light the is just sending it in there, and now gets the ult out of the back line. The follow-up though is not there, and Palu is gonna go down. Morgan in a rough spot here as well. 1v5 himself. It's a double kill for Viper. It looks crazy. Incredibly proactive, risky decision <laughs> for this game. And now they're gonna go back to being the most passive team in the LCK after Envy tries the outplay bottom side and fails. They try the yeah, currently on this Red Bull Baron power play, I mean, they're pushing bot, they're pushing mid, they're getting value, they're, they're building up their gold lead. Amalite Esports just calm and steady here after getting that big buff. Back away, go down to the bottom side where zeka has been pushing. I want to ult into the Skarner here. Morgan, he is tanky, but he's not tanky enough. And just, just the this poke is really starting to hurt as well, especially onto the weaker members of Bro. Uh, three items here for Viper, so just, you know, he can be long range, he can be short range, he can burst you down, he will do the damage in one way or another. Hobolite Esports will get the first inhibitor. They're looking for the second one here in mid. He's even got seven stacks of Tark Seal, Viper on this Kaisa, and now Look at the that. inhibitor goes. Oh, he's gonna send it. Paulo, he wants to get in there and start a fight, but the team is just not there. I mean, Karis and Morgan were not in range to follow up on that one, and now Morgan in a rough spot. Finally lands the first impale of the game, I think. Not really his fault, but now Karis also gonna go in and die in mid unbound soul, as MV as well just goes away, and it all falls apart like a house of cards. I mean, I respect to the try there from Paulo to send it, try to make something happen, but it was desperation as Bro had so many chances in this game, and now it's all over. Yeah, well, at least it's uh, it's over quick. <laughs> it's, uh, Bro, you know, they didn't back down. They tried to take some fights. They knew what their composition did, and they tried to play into it a bit more. Delight even going to live as he won't burn down either. So this game is going to end in 26 minutes. Nice try from Bro, but how will I be sports? The team that we expected to take down the first victory here 
will in fact do just that and take the lead in the series one to zero. of damage this time around as now we're trying to gold card and stack some damage into that Skarner and yeah he's been shoved under the turret Morgan in a lot of trouble as Doran just gonna tank it up perfectly do they have the damage though is the question one more auto will get the job done with the red card and Doran he's walking it off and he will survive with the pot as in a much better spot yeah unfortunately just Morgan has to back here he's kind of frozen and Hold up. Oh, the double stun from Palu and the CC chain is amazing. And Viper's like, oh, I can't do anything about that. I'll just accept my fate. Very nicely done here. So far, Twisted Fate is left alone in a side lane. So get a consolation prize here, but a kill plus Dragon. Go the way of the walk strategy to not get hit by the seismic shove. Meanwhile, Peanut level six, and he is going to force that flash. But here is Doran as well, as Karis just being bullied under the turret 3v1. And with how good Hanwha are juggling these turret aggros, just really easy. Their trades out. really paying off for Zekka. Ooh, as they are trying to turn this one onto the light, but that is a level six Zeri who is going to force them back. As Young Day is here again, as he is trying to punish onto the light, as the old will come out, but he has already taken too much damage. And that one will go the way of Envy as well. So actually a pretty Horus big in this lane. Peanut's coming back. <laughs> this is not a replay. Oh, no. He doesn't have Flash this time as well. So Peanut's just going to try to run into that one. It's nicely uh, broken up here by Zek as he steps in front of the Yone ultimate. And that will be the end of Sky Gold on your team. Your Skarner's not tanky. Your Talia isn't stacking kills like she did in game one. And speaking of which, Skarner ain't tanky, and the entire team's up here once again. Morgan is going to try to flash away as Viper is tanking the turret. The Impale comes in, and Doran actually will go down. So Lord Morgan, amongst all those things, will be able to trade a one-for-one. On the one. bottom lane, so ends up being kind of a big win here for Bro. I, I'd say big, small win. I, never mind. I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to fight that. This is going to get Just really kidding. awkward here for Bro if they really want to force the issue. Well, that's going to be an ult on Envy to get away, but that is a Kaisa. It doesn't matter, though. Paulo's eating way too much damage, and he will flash to try to get away, but this is a Zeri after all. You're not getting away from that. So Viper picks up a free kill, and they will also pick up a free Rift Herald. It's the first big 5v5 potential fight of the game as Youngjae. No, oh, flashing on him here as well, and uh, really no hope for Youngjae in this one, as he's even going to get blue carded down. And they know, they should know, he's got Triforce hitting at this point in time. It's going to be the first opportunity for Delight to get big ult value. for something like knockups with it. But uh, on the other side of things, I mean, Bro have closed the gap on this Drake. If they can isolate a target with that CC. Oh, they're trying to get in onto that backline, but Morgan going to miss the Impale, and that Keeper's Verdict is gigantic. It gets everybody out of the fight. Palo and first Mountain Drake over to Hamalai Esports. But there has certainly, OK, hold up. That, Light. That's a bit aggressive. Well, it's just having fun now. Like, that's just happy gaming. And you know what? Viper is going to get the kill. He does have to flash and cleanse for it. A very dirty way to pick up a kill and trade him. You know, the, the big issue is Zekka in terms of, like, AD carry champs. You've also got TF, obviously. Um, but there's just so many threats that, yeah, you might get Zeri, but you, you don't have anyone else. And now, taking a look at this, the CC team coming in from the side of Homolite Esports. They're really smacking him down with their wallets now. Peanut even emoting. I feel on like his... Skarner is. Oh, God. Put it away. Uh, oh, it was gone. Please. Like, okay. Yeah, okay, forgot. we did it. We did it. All right. <laughs> in case you forgot, it's a 9,000 gold lead. I'm like, I'm aware. All right. Well, the Impale comes in, but. Let the minions get it done. I mean. Just, even the destiny just for vision in the brush. Like, there's a control board in there, too. He's like, dude, I, I pressed my... Yeah, it does call for the Gigasad uh, JPEG. I'll post it after this. Um, yeah. It's certainly it drained so early that it's... We got put in, like, the awkward caster spot where usually, like... I guess it's too early in the season, but we talk about movies and stuff, but... Envy yeah. is... At least it's got cleanse. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, you know, you do kind of have to send Hail Marys at this point. It is in 9,000. Morgan! We're not going to get to talk about Fury Road because Delight is on a bit of a Fury Road to take out Morgan once again. Viper having the flank here as well. Palu nearly going to go down. Finally bites the dust as Morgan, by the way, is still alive up on the top side of the map. 
He's just going for a little journey here. And uh, I have a feeling this is not going to end very very nicely for The him. saddest recall attempt I've ever seen. Yeah. He's, he's scanning. He's like, maybe they won't find me. Maybe it's my luckiest day. It's not your luckiest day, Morgan, sadly. Well, it's one of your unluckiest days. Died six times. Maybe lucky number seven is on the way. Yeah. Right, right, Wolf? Uh, <laughs> now they know, I know, and now he's dead. <laughs> I mean, or well, I guess they're okay. They're they're surprised actually, but but yeah. Now 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 he's now he's now he's dead. Yeah. Well, nice, nice try, Paulo. <laughs> well, I mean, look. I, I'm struggling much. to keep it together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, it's a rough one. Is. They were like so shocked that he was back there. Like, hold up, wait, everybody's yeah. up. Why is he there? They couldn't. Even oh, we about to get Yone ulted or right something away, like yeah. with this? Like everybody's like, oh, hold on. Oh no, no, he's just back there. Like, okay, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> It was kind of like that. Like they expected something more, and then it's just like Palu <laughs> galloping by on his horse. Kind of sad. But the wall is going to come down. One last attempt. Delight still has his flash. And at least this game has lasted for longer than the previous one, which is kind of impressive. Yeah. And you know what? With the Baron buff, they still have a minute, but they're not going to over overstay. They're going to wait. They're going to push in mid. Try to utilize this Baron buff for a little bit more in the mid lane. Look, Bro Leavers vote no on Surrender on this one. I yep. Do. All right. Big ult. All right. Nicely done. And now you just Peanut. go to a front line. Peanut going to throw that in. A very nice zoning ultimate to zone them away from this inhibitor. And that is two inhibitors down. Kamala Hay Feesports. 14,000 gold ahead at 27 minutes into the game. I, I feel like this is one of the biggest stomps we have ever cast it because it oh, isn't so able to get away. Double summoners now. Can Bro get out? Or is this the end of the game? I don't think they're getting out of this one, Wolf. Um, even that ult is going to keep everybody here. He's like, I, wait, I don't want to hit them. Yeah, <laughs> like, I purposely missed that, by the way. Uh, don't mind me. Yeah, they're, they're just all dead, guys. Uh, even Envy, he is trying to take the 1v1 versus Viper, and he will take him down. Nicely done by Envy. But unfortunately, the team is still going to lose. As. Uh, <laughs> They're going to try to stop the base from going down here, but this Nexus turret still going to bite the dust. Very honorable way to go out from Bro. Very honorable, trying to kill Dorian, get his summoners. And, um, you know, I thought it was it was a good try. Yeah. And Doran, you know, he, he played it well. He respected their try. He didn't go easy on them. Good hustle. He, he cleansed, or sorry, ghosted and flash and gets out of there, runs real quick. Some people are starting yeah. to get skeptical, <laughs> but they are going to get this Baron. Peanut survives. Doesn't have Smite, but it's okay. They don't need it. You give the, they'll give the Baron to Viper, and that is going to be their ability to push down this final inhibitor. The bottom inhibitor is about to respawn, and they oh. push that out as... <laughs> they were going in, and then uh, they were going out real fast. And uh, Paolo's in a bit of trouble. He's going to back that storm just out of desperation as they're just unkillable. They're, they're all so tanky. Morgan has no impale, so he can't actually grab anybody. Peanut is tanking this one. Okay, Karis getting in there. He is going to do some damage to Zekka. And uh, yeah, the turret's still going to go down, guys. I mean, they, they have a giant safe of money that they are now dropping on the heads of Bro as they will finally put them out of their misery, it does look like, as this one will go the way of Homolite Esports with a 18,000 gold lead at 31 minutes into the game. GG 2-0 from Homolite. It was slow and steady wins the race eventually.